They say that a penny saved is a penny earned. But did you know that some pennies are worth much more than just a cent? Take the 1993 penny, for example. Despite its humble denomination, this coin holds incredible historical significance. It was the first in U.S. history to feature the image of a president, none other than Abraham Lincoln himself. And let's not forget the iconic Lincoln Memorial penny with a stunning human figure on both sides. Collectors of all ages find these coins truly captivating and worth adding to their collections. It's not just the older ones that hold value. Even recent mintings have their place. So keep an eye out for details like mint marks and condition. They can significantly impact the value of a 1993 penny. Spread the word, my fellow enthusiasts, and let everyone know the hidden treasures that lie within these little copper coins. From the very beginning of production to these days, Lincoln pennies have changed their composition in reverse several times. However, one thing was constant. With all these changes in appearance, President Lincoln's profile was always on the obverse. Lincoln's profile dominates this coin's obverse like in all other pennies from this series ever minted. The recognizable profile is turned to the right, with the minting year and the mint mark in front of it. In addition to the former president's profile, you can also find inscriptions on the obverse. Along the top rim is the phrase, In God We Trust, while the word liberty is on the left side. The Lincoln Memorial is the most prominent reverse motif on the reverse. That imposing building in the ancient Greece style with 12 Doric columns occupies the central part of the design. You can see Lincoln's silhouette between the central pillars, while an elegant staircase is in front of the entrance to the building. Above the memorial, you can read the inscriptions E Pluribus Unum and United States of America. The coin's denomination, one cent, extends along the bottom rim. The composition of pennies from 1993 includes 97.5% zinc and a low percentage of copper. This coin is round in shape with a plain edge, while its weight is 0.08818 ounces, 2.5 G. Coin thickness of 0.05983 inches, 1.52 mm, and a diameter of 0.75 inches, 19.05 mm, are common for post-1982 pennies. Lincoln pennies are coins with a long history, and they changed their appearance and metal content several times during that period. The exciting thing about the memorial penny that sets it apart from other American coinage is that it has the president's image on both sides. It is the same with 12,114,750,363 coins struck in one, nine, nine, three. Lincoln cents minted at the Philadelphia Mint never borne the mint mark. You can use this deficiency when coming across one of 5,684,705,000 minted to distinguish it from 1993 cents struck in other mints. Thanks to such a high mintage, the 1993 Lincoln cent is plentiful on the coin market. Additionally, most specimens were in circulation, so their value doesn't exceed the face value. Uncirculated pieces can reach a slightly higher value, around 30 cents. Pennies from 1993 can reach much more significant amounts at auctions. For instance, one collector bought the red-colored 1993 MS 69 memorial cent for a whopping $3,375 on eBay. This 1958 cent now holds a new world record. You'll have all the information you require regarding this coin. The United States Mint produced a significant number of these pennies for circulation since we are about to get directly into this film. Both the Denver and Philadelphia Mints produced these coins. On the obverse or front of each coin is the mint mark. You'll either see a D mint mark below the date, which stands for the Denver Mint, or a no mint mark, which indicates for the Philadelphia Mint. Now, the supply and demand of coins will depend on who is collecting them and how many coins were made at each mint. Right now, the majority of these coins won't be worth much, but what you should be looking for is a characteristic that will often be very little, but greatly increase the coin's value. The price of this coin was $1,136,250. Great collections are now selling it at auction. On January 22, 2023, it was sold. Now consider that a coin like this one might one day be worth a great deal more. If you found this coin, you may use it to retire. Here, we need to establish some realistic viewpoints. 
Finding a coin like this is extremely unlikely, but if you do, you must take the necessary steps to ensure its safety. You will never be defrauded. Why then did it sell at such a high price? This is the first time it has ever been offered for sale and is one of only three specimens known to exist. This is a two-fold die obverse coin, as coin collectors refer to it. Obverse refers to the front of the coin and reverse refers to the back. Now, if you look at Liberty over there on the left and In God We Trust over there, you will notice some pretty drastic doubling going on. You're in for a big treat when you pair that with a mint state 65 red with an extraordinarily high grade. What does the word red mean? These coins can be found in a range of hues, including red, brown, and depending on the metal it was struck against at the time and the environment it was stored in, it can be brown. The coin will rust and change color due to environmental factors. Here is a brief illustration. Red coins usually fetch a higher price than red, brown, and brown coins. However, this isn't always the case. Keep a lookout for this coin because, as I said before, it may easily put you in retirement. Our Coin and Currency Mastermind program is now available if you want to ensure that you never again doubt the value of your coins or bills. Along with a group of like-minded people, you will interact directly with our team and receive all the answers to the questions you have ever had. People. Now to learn more, click the video you're currently seeing on the screen. Come on in and we'll see you inside. Step right up and let's dive into the captivating world of the 1971 penny. Have you ever wondered if that old Lincoln penny sitting in your jar could be worth something more? Well, today we're here to uncover the truth. Get ready to uncover the history, design, and fascinating era coins of the 1971 penny. From the iconic portrait of Abraham Lincoln, the initials of the talented sculptor, to the grandeur of the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse side, this coin tells a story that spans generations. Whether minted in Philadelphia, Denver, or San Francisco, each penny holds its unique tale. So, gather round, folks, as we embark on this exhilarating journey. Discover the hidden treasures and let the knowledge shine. Increasing brand awareness, one penny at a time. The scent, often called the penny after the British coin, was first issued with Lincoln's portrait in 1909. The year marked a century since Lincoln's birth, and it was the first American coin to bear an image of a real person. Earlier heads sides of coins had depicted the mythological Lady Liberty. Lincoln pennies are still being produced today, but the new coins are quite different to those issued in 1971. That's partly because of what they're made from. The original Lincoln pennies were 95% copper. There was a brief switch to steel in 1943, to release copper for munitions in the Second World War. And in 1973, rising copper prices saw coins dated 1974 made from aluminum. In both cases, the experiments were short-lived. The 1971 penny was made from the original recipe of 95% copper. But in 1981, the composition changed for good. Once again, it was rising copper prices that lay behind the change. Today's coins are made from copper-clad zinc instead. They still have the characteristic red and brown color, but are much cheaper to produce. Another difference between the 1971 penny and today's scents is their appearance. The portrait of Lincoln is very similar. But turn the coin over, and the reverse is completely different. Today you'll see a shield, known as the Union Shield, and signifying unity. But back in 1971, the image on the reverse was the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. It had first been introduced on the pennies struck in 1959. Before that, the image had been two ears of Durham wheat. The Lincoln Memorial continued to be used until four new commemorative reverses were designed for the Lincoln Bicentenary in 2009. And it's for that reason that scents bearing this design are sometimes referred to as Lincoln Memorial pennies. A gem quality MS-65 penny is worth around $1.40. At MS-67, that rises to $1.185. And the finest quality 1971 pennies known to exist are graded MS-67+. The Independent Coin Grading Agency, the PCGs, has graded seven coins at this level, and they're valued at around $4,600 apiece. Get ready to discover the hidden treasures of a historical year, 1973. Picture this. A penny with a story to tell. In the world of coin collecting, it's all about finding that one rare gem. 
While aluminum samples are as scarce as unicorns, the iconic French bronze version will steal the show. Look closely and you'll find President Lincoln rocking that bow tie with style. But here's the twist. The Lincoln Memorial takes the spotlight thanks to the artistic touch of Frank Gasparro. It's a small piece of history that fits right in your pocket. So keep your eyes peeled, my friends, because these coins hold a piece of our past. Let the quest for the 1973 penny value begin. Pennies have always borne the features of Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States. He was the first U.S. president and the first recognizable person to appear on any American currency. Before him, coins and notes would typically be graced by a symbolic portrait that depicted Lady Liberty. But President Theodore Roosevelt had far grander ideas. Roosevelt felt American currency should be aesthetic as well as functional, so he advocated for professional artists to design them, not just mint engravers. Augustus St. Gaudens was the first such hire, but he died before reworking the penny. And one of his assistants, Victor David Brenner, stepped in to complete the task. His reverse design stayed in use until 1958. In December 1958, the president's press secretary announced a change to the back of the Lincoln cent. Previously, they were known as wheat pennies because they had two ears of Durham wheat on the reverse. The new design would still have VDB's Lincoln on the front, but the reverse would be the Lincoln Memorial designed by assistant engraver Frank Gasparro. The Memorial Penny hit the streets on the 12th of February, 1959. If he had still been alive, it would have been Lincoln's 150th birthday. By 1973, the Memorial Penny was still in use, but copper was getting too pricey and people were starting to hoard pennies. So the Mint experimented with aluminum pennies dated 1973, but coined in 1974. They made more than one, five M coins. But these silver pennies often jammed the coin slots in vending machines, so the aluminum idea was dropped. At the time, Mint director Mary Brooks tried to retrieve all the aluminum cents, but at least 14 remain unaccounted for. Another suggestion was to use steel pennies clad with bronze, and a few slipped into the open market. Both these coins are illegal to own. That said, most 1973 pennies are the standard version with 95% copper and a 5% mixture of zinc and tin. If you find any of the bronze or silver 1973 pennies, you could make a lot of money, but you'd either have to sell the coin privately or have solid lineage to prove how you got the coin. This matters because both left the mint illegally, so resellers can be prosecuted. In 1973, the Philadelphia Mint produced 3,728,245,000 pennies. These coins are sometimes described as P pennies, with the P in quotes, because there was no official P mint mark until the 1980s. Either way, a 1973 Philadelphia penny in MS67 plus RD sells for more than $3,850. 1976, penny. In 1976, 25C, 50C, and $1 denominations released bicentennial coins to celebrate the 200th anniversary of independence from the British Empire. These bicentennial coins had two dates, 1776 to 1976. But pennies are different because the Lincoln Bicentennial came later. In 2009, Lincoln Bicentennial cents were coined with four special reverse designs. But that's a whole other story. For now... Let's focus on the 1976 penny value, one of the two 1976 coins that had a single mint date. It was coined in four of the U.S. mints, so let's evaluate this penny. The obverse, head side, of the 1976 penny has a portrait of Abraham Lincoln. He's facing right in the portrait and has a tiny VDB stamped at the cutoff point on his shoulder. Above his head is the legend in God We Trust. The legend Liberty is behind him, while the mint year and mint mark are in front of him. With the mint mark placed right below the mint date, the reverse, tails side, of the 1976 penny portrays the Lincoln Memorial as designed by Frank Gasparro. His initials, FG, appear on the right of the building. The top of the coin reads, United States of America, with E Pluribus Unum directly under it. The bottom of the coin reads one cent. If the coin is well preserved, you can spot Lincoln's statue at the back. Other features of the 1976 penny? The 1976 penny is 95% copper and 5% zinc since all the tin in the coin was removed in 1963. This penny weighs 3.11 G 
and is 19.05 mm 0.75 in diameter. It's a tiny red tinged coin with a plain edge that has no reeds. Because Lincoln cents have so many variants, you should pay special attention to the color and weight of the coin. It's the quickest way to identify errors. The San Francisco Mint coined 4,149,730 pennies in 1976. It was the lowest mintage of the bunch, and the S pennies were all proofs since San Francisco stopped making circulation coins in 1974. A PR69 RDD cam sold for a measly $1.62 in 2022 but was $1,208 in 2002. 1980 Penny the 1980 penny was one of the series known as Lincoln pennies. If you have one of these coins, could it be worth more than its face value? That's what we're here to find out. We're going to explore the 1980 penny value. We'll find out what separates standard coins from those that are interesting and valuable to collectors. And we'll also take a look at this coin's history and interesting features along the way. Ready to find out more? Take a look at the obverse or head side of the 1980 penny, and you'll see a very familiar image. It's the same portrait of Abraham Lincoln that's appeared on every cent since 1909. It's the work of a sculptor by the name of Victor David Brenner. Brenner based his image on an earlier photograph of the president, taken at the studio of photographer Matthew Brady. Some people believe it was Brady himself who took the photo, others that it was one of his assistants. The portrait shows Lincoln's head and shoulders, we can see his jacket and cravat, and he faces to the right. Brenner wrote in a letter that he had imagined Lincoln as he would look when reading to a child. Look closely at the lower edge of Lincoln's shoulder and you'll see the letters VDB, Brenner's initials. When the first Lincoln pennies were struck, these had appeared on the reverse, but they immediately caused controversy, with some feeling they were too large and constituted advertising. The reverse of the 1980 penny carries the image of the Lincoln Memorial, built in 1922 in Washington, D.C. It's the same image that appears on every Lincoln cent struck between 1959 and 2008. The design was produced by Frank Gasparro. When it was first issued in 1959, Gasparro was assistant engraver at the Mint. He was promoted the following year and he remained the Mint's chief engraver until January 1981. Immediately above the image of the memorial is the Latin motto, E Pluribus Unum, presented over two lines. It means, from the many, one, and refers to the union of the states creating the USA. Above it, its line following the curve of the coin is the name of the country in full, and following the curve of the lower edge is the denomination also written in full as one cent. In lower mint state grades, the value is comparable to unmarked cents. At MS-63, a red cent is worth about $1.05, and at MS-65, it will be worth around $1.15. There's a slight premium at MS-67, where a Denver red cent will be worth about $1.225, compared to $1.187 for one without a mint mark. The finest examples at the PCGs are three coins graded MS-67+. They're each valued at around $1,750. 1989 Penny Value In the world of coin collections, certain years are known for their rarity and their highly sought-after errors. These are known as key dates, and it helps to familiarize yourself with the most important ones. Others are called conditional rarities because they have segmented criteria. 1989 is neither, but we're still interested in authenticating the 1989 Penny Value. Like all Lincoln Memorial pennies, this one-cent coin is eye-grabbing in high grades. If you find one in top condition, you can count the steps at the building entrance and spot Abe Lincoln's seated statue peeking through those central pillars of the memorial. Let's take a closer look. The obverse head side of the 1989 penny features the right-facing profile of Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States. This same portrait had previously appeared on a desk plaque made for Gorham Manufacturing in 1907. It was designed by Victor David Brenner, though intense media controversy kept his initials off the coin in circumspect years. But in 1989, that coveted VDB appears at the shoulder cutoff. Above Lincoln's head, the legend reads, In God We Trust. Behind his back is the legend Liberty, and in front of his chest lies the mint year and the mint mark. Although the 1989 penny is largely made of zinc, 
its outermost surfaces are plated with 2.5% copper to ensure that trademark reddish coloring. The reverse, tail side, of the 1989 penny was designed by Frank Gasparo while was still an assistant engraver at the Mint. You can find his initials FG on the right corner of the Lincoln Memorial. The building is perfectly centered and the top of the coin reads United States of America with E Pluribus Unum underneath. The bottom has the denomination one cent in 1989. The Philadelphia Mint made 7,261,535,000 P coins without mint marks. In 2018, a Lincoln Memorial penny in MS-68RD was only worth $1.312, but in 2013, its price was much higher at $4,112.50. Try selling during key anniversary dates to improve your profit margins. 1918 Wheat Penny Value The 1918 Lincoln Wheat Pennies made to commemorate the centenary of Abraham Lincoln's birth belong to the highly collectible first series. The U.S. Mint produced the first coins in 1909 and has continued with their minting until today with changed reverse. Even though the 1918 penny value is often modest, coins minted that year are old and rare enough to be valuable for collectors. Despite high mintage almost every year, the Lincoln Cent series is one of the most desirable among collectors. Since Americans were dissatisfied with his oversized initials, the U.S. Mint quickly started minting coins without them. After nine years of minting, the 1918 Lincoln penny was the first with designer initials. This time, they were smaller and struck on the coin obverse. The 1918 Lincoln wheat penny obverse includes the president's image in the center with the word liberty and the date on the left and right sides. The motto, In God We Trust, is placed on the top rim. The elegant coin's reverse is simple and includes two wheat ears along the side edges. The center is reserved for capitalized words, United States of America and one cent, while the required saying E Pluribus Unum is placed along the top rim. The mintage of 370,614,634 Lincoln wheat pennies in 1918 was relatively modest, but that didn't affect their value. Since most of these one century old coins are significantly worn out, only a few well-preserved pieces are costly. Most serious collectors even don't consider specimens in circulated condition collectible. The most expensive and highly collectible red pieces are never cheap. You can buy one such penny for $250 to $3,250, while those in the highest rates are typically worth $13,500 to $54,000. The current auction record for the 1918 D MS67RD Lincoln Wheat Penny is $45,600.